from the surface above and a cold breeze coming through the small holes in the door. When I was down there alone, it felt like days, but must have only been hours. My legs were aching from the stone cold floor and my mouth was as dry as anything. I remember being surrounded by bottles and bottles of what looked like wine. It's weird how when you have water that you can grab at any time, you don't always reach for it. But when I had none available, all I could think about was where my next drink was coming from. I put my thirst off as long as I could, but when I couldn't handle it any longer, I took a sip from the nearest bottle. I spat it out immediately. It tasted disgusting. I was just so focused on getting out of there alive. I may be a young girl, but I'm gonna fight to my last breath. I searched the room for a weapon. In the back of my mind, I could hear my father saying, do whatever you have to do to protect yourself. I found a few different items that I could use as a weapon, but nothing felt right until I found just what I was looking for. Soon after, the sound of footsteps on the floorboards above me chilled me to the bone because they were coming my way and fast. I had the metal pole gripped firmly in my hands as the lights went out. I remember his footsteps slowing down every time he got closer and closer to the room that I was in. I saw light come through the crack of the door. My heart was racing, but I was prepared. I thought to myself, I've only got one chance to get this right. I held my breath as the door swung inwards. I swung as hard as I could. I didn't mean to kill him. But self-defense is self-defense. Fuck your shit! <laughs> 
Thank you.